Hey everyone and welcome back to the Late End Gamer. In today's video, we're going to look at the pistol shotgun and as usual, we're going to talk about the easiest possible method to unlock each mod in order and then we will go over what each perk does and what makes this weapon awesome. To unlock the first mod, you need to dismember 50 enemy limbs. Very simple, just go to a map that has a decent amount of zombies. I recommend 4 player zombie setup on easy and start killing. I chose Hitler's welcome party under all roads lead to hell simply because this is my favorite map. To unlock the second mod, you need to kill 15 engineers. I chose to do this at Let's Get Out of Here under Hellbase. You get a decent amount of engineers here and if you don't unlock this the first time, simply restart checkpoint and you'll be at the elevator. But be careful, there will be a lot of enraged zombies. The third mod requires you to kill 50 zombies, which should be unlocked when you dismember those 50 zombies before. To unlock Divine Mod Level 2, you need to get 50 double kills or more. This gun is phenomenal at getting those multi kills, so just choose your favorite spot and start slaying. Hitler's Welcome Party is however a great map, seeing that you have a bunch of interactables to shoot if you're not confident at getting those double or multi kills. So to unlock the Damage Mod Level 2, you're supposed to kill 25 suiciders under 6.66 meters. Now, this can just be rebellion trolling seeing that this is a demonic game or they just want you to get blown up. Either way, just use the ironclad perk if you're scared of explosions and go to the search for Dr. Schweiger under Meat Locker. On 4 player zombie setup, you should have a decent amount of suiciders spawns here and if you don't get them on the first try, just restart checkpoint until you do. The reload speed mod requires you to kill 150 zombies which you can do anywhere you see fit. The divine mod level 3 requires 80 kills with divine bullets which if you're lucky should be completed by the time you get that 150 kills but if not you can just take care of it seeing that you shouldn't need many more kills by the time you see it. The trigger mod level 3 requires 60 kills with brain buster. All you need here is June, Brain Buster Frequency and Brain Buster Expert and you should have this mod unlocked after 10 sets of Brain Buster. To unlock the damage mod level 3, you need to kill 5 gunners. You can do this at Welcome to the Jungle under Zombie Zoo. Just run past the screamers, kill the armored giants and grenadiers and this will be a checkpoint. On 4 player zombie setup, you will get 2 heavy gunner spawns here. Just take them out on 3 restarts and you're good. The slug mod level 3 requires 5 blind screamer kills. You can get this at Welcome to the Jungle under Meat Locker. You can either kill one 5 times or kill both on 4 player zombie setup. To unlock the reload speed mod level 3, you need to kill 50 creepers. I unlocked this at the same time while I was killing the 5 gunners. You will have to kill a few zombies and 2 sets of creepers before the gunner. Just use your pistol and you'll kill 2 birds with 1 stone. And lastly, to unlock the serrated bayonet, I don't know what you have to do. I'm sorry everyone, but I unlocked this before I know what it was. But if you do, I'm pretty sure it's easy enough for you to do this. I believe in you guys, because you're all latent gamers. To master this weapon, you need to get 100 dismemberments while killing a zombie every 4 seconds with this pistol. You can do this at Hitler's welcome party seeing that the interactables are the fastest way to get dismemberments. Unfortunately for me, I still haven't mastered this pistol as yet. I think I'm having a little issue with me not seeing the mastery tracker. I'm not sure if it's a bug, but I tried going for a max combo while killing a zombie less than 4 seconds every time. Am I the only one experiencing this problem? Please let me know in the comment section down below. So now that you've unlocked everything, let's look at what this pistol can do. This is a divine weapon so your divine mod go all the way to level 3 and should be very strong or overpowered in Werner's hands. Or you can stop at level 2 and choose the trigger mod which fires both shells at the same time. Your damage mod go all the way to level 3 or you can stop at level 2 and choose a slug damage level 3 which swaps your pellets for high powered slugs increase the accuracy, range and the dismemberment. 
At first, this weapon feels really slow and hard to use, but your reload speed mod go all the way to level 3, which makes this weapon feel a hell of a lot better. Or you can stop at level 2 and choose a serrated bayonet, which increases your melee damage and the chance of dismemberment. This is the shotgun pistol in its entirety everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like because it really helps. Subscribe if you're new and ring that bell to always be notified. Our next video will be the Luger PO8, so stay tuned for that one.